Hi everyone, it's Fiona. I just wanted to share with you a couple of things. Firstly, um, it's my cat. Come on, boys, stay out the way. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, firstly, I wanted to share with you my finished fairy journal. Um, if you were watching the previous video, um, I showed you how I made the little collages that went inside the front and back cover um, in my previous video and I have completed um, this little journal so I just want to do a quick flip through um, I'm really really pleased with it um, it's got lots of dangles and little beads and it's got some um, fabric tags that I've attached to the pages and some lace and it is a fabric covered journal um, I've made the cover out of one of these oh, envelopes I think they are in Australia I think they are C5 size um, I fold them in half and I've covered each side with fabric and basically the pages inside are measure um, four by six inches so I'm pretty sure this is roughly six and a half by four and a half when you fold it in half and by the way in my next video I'm going to show you how to turn one of these into a faux leather cover or how I do it anyway so anyway that's the next video so I'll just show you what I've done here um, so on the cover, I've layered up a book page and some a little bit of blue fabric here, which is um, sort of like organza type fabric, a little blue flower. Um, this is one of the cards from the Fairies and Botanicals kit that I used, and I'll put the link below the video to the to the kit. And this is a little butterfly which I have um, a die cut for with a little button in the centre. And this is one of the little mini envelopes that I was also showing you in my previous video. And a little bit of lace trim here with some bling on there. It has two signatures and on the spine here I've hung um, a little love heart, a little leaf. And then just some pearls and um, blue and pink love hearts there. And so the closure is seam binding, which I have inked up with some uh, tea dye, um, sorry, distress ink from Tim Holtz. So let's just undo the colour. Go inside. Okay, let's do a flip through here. So this is the little collage that I made in my previous video. There, and it has lots of words here. It's part of the kit. Sorry, my cat's playing with the ribbon now. <laughs> Puss, why do you have to come up on here when I'm doing this? I'm sure all of you with cats know what it's like um, and so inside I have this pretty little vintage fairy image this is one of the pages from the kit here I put the word dream I put some um, cheesecloth behind there Lollipops. and um, one of my little mini fairy stamps that I made there which is tucked in there and here's um, one of the tags of a little dragonfly hope you can see this okay it is night time here so the lights probably not the best and here's one of the little tickets with the little fairies on that come in the kit, fairy and a butterfly. And 
I've done some stamping here. Um, lots of blank pages in this one for journaling because um, I wanted lots of room to write. Um, butterfly stencil there, some lace on the edge. Another little word, saw. Little fairy in there. Some butterflies. Another fairy image, the word believe, a little fairy bingo card, and another cute fairy ballerina image. Coffee dyed pages. This um, tag, and a couple of little tags from the kit. Then I've used some brown paper, another an old um, advertisement card with some little fairies there and a word wish, dragonfly stamping. And here's the first of the little tabs and there's a little love heart dangle on that one. Some lace. Another page from the kit. Some more stamping here. The word garden. And here's a little dangle that I've hung from a paper clip. The top there. A couple of little journaling cards. Another one of the tags with a little bingo fairy card then I put some blue ribbon there with the word wind this the next little dangle is just a little shiny teardrop shape on there another fairy image um, this page here is from a fairy book that I had and it says happy ways to bring fairies to your house and it has a nice image on the back there so I'll just tuck that in there image with butterfly and this little verse here says Hand in hand with fairy grace will we sing and bless this place. And that's from William, William Shakespeare, A Midsummer Night's Dream. Another fairy image with the word forest. Another little dangle. And a little card and with a fairy. tiny little baby fairy you can just see it in the middle there like a little flower fairy and the other little ticket from the kit I've just wrapped it around the page there whispers and trees and a dragonfly I've turned this little image into a pocket I've got another old a little botany botanical cards then I've put the word flowers in there little tag another little dangle little pearl next up to the second signature now Chimes. Yeah, not a little card, a little fairy image, a little black dangle. And all of these dangles, because I've attached them with safety pins, can be, you know, removed and moved around the journal. 
more coffee dyed paper, lots of writing space. Tag with wings. These are all part of the kit and the words there. Beautiful butterfly. This is a little um, I Ching coin dangle. Oops, my page was a bit stuck. Beautiful little fairy image that says fairy dust. Some more stamping. And this is another page out of the book. And a little tuck here. Beautiful butterfly image, botanical image, and the words stones and frogs. These are all fairy and garden related things. And there's a little pink dangle there offering. Twilight, beautiful garden image, adventure, and I've made that into a little tuck spot. Word Fay. And then another little tag with the word dream, and then I've stapled on this one which says Dawn. and this is my other little collage that I did um, it's basically the same as the one inside the front cover it has a different little image I think that's a gorgeous little fairy image that's one of the journaling cards and then the word fly and one of my little mini envelopes and that is my fairy journal so I hope you like it it's one more thing I just wanted to share while I'm here and that is I was also talking about making these little teeny tiny envelopes which actually measure um, I think it's, I think it's like two and a half centimeters yep two and a half centimeters which is actually equivalent to one inch by one and a half centimeters. Um, so how many inches is that? I think that's about half an inch or three quarters of an inch. So that's all that they measure, and they come with little inserts inside. And yeah, just plain, made out of um, brown craft paper. So I'll be putting these little um, envelopes in my shop, and you get ten in a pack. Um, so I'll put the link below the video. Okay, so I hope you liked my flip through of my little fairy journal. I'll be back with another video soon. Thanks for watching.